This is just bad. So bad. Yes, it is normal that during winter you will experience some cold weather and discomfort, but living through ice age-like conditions is just beyond normal weather. The winter of 2024 could be the beginning of a new ice age and it ain't anything else than a shit show. What you see here is actually happening right now in Norway, a country in Europe. Because of heavy snowfall and freezing temperatures people choose to stay inside and not risk getting stranded outside in their cars or even worse on foot. This means not going to buy food or drinks. That is a serious problem. Starvation, however, is unlikely this month. The animals are suffering as well. Bears on these parts are for example brown bears, not polar bears, and these conditions will cause serious trauma if they wake up from their hibernation. They do not deserve that. Also, the red deer and roe deer in this area do not have the qualities of reindeer and caribou to be able to survive in a tough situation like this. If you happen to come across this video and you also happen to live in, let's say Florida, please send warm thoughts to folks who have to live through this freezing hell. Thank you. Now to our hero, Mr. Sandvan. This is not what I expected. Not what I've been told. I expected warm winters, not so much snow. And uh, certainly not freezing temperatures like uh, we've seen the last few, actually two months, been quite cold. And uh, I talked to locals and they say that last year on this island, which normally does not see a lot of snow and freezing temperatures, even then it was very cold. So uh, it's a concern. What's going on? Not what I expected. Not what I've been told. Actually, quite the opposite. It is actually incorrect to say an ice age might again appear because technically we are still in one. Planet Earth has had many ice ages, but five were major ones. The current one started about 2.5 million years ago and is called the Quaternary Ice Age. The first stage of this absolute horror show is called the Glacial Period. That is the really cold and scary period and it ended only 11,000 years ago. Think about that. The second stage is the interglacial one. That is where we are now. This is the warmer and happy period when ice sheets get smaller. But they will certainly get big again. Really big like covering Europe and North America like in the not-so-distant past. People from Norway, like our own Sandvan explorer, would probably be quite well suited to survive on Earth during such times, as would the Eskimos of North America. These folks would need to move south and then educate people there about surviving in tough winter conditions. This would be rather complicated because many people in countries such as Germany expect warmer temperatures in the future, not colder, and certainly not first-stage Ice Age conditions. Hopefully videos such as this will educate and prepare people. It is important to understand that absolutely nothing can be done to stop an ice age. We are 100% not in a position to change the outcome of whatever will happen. Ice or no ice, we can only adapt, use our resources wisely to prepare for any possibility. So buying winter clothes would for example be a better idea than spending time and energy to change what cannot be changed. Species that can adapt are the ones that will survive. Buying winter clothing for 10 people at a cost of say 3,000 US dollars in total would thus be a better investment than spending 3,000 trillion dollars to try to change what cannot change. It would mean throwing away resources that we need. Hopefully people will see through politicians, media outlets and businessmen who will for sure try to use the concept of global cooling and ice age for their own benefit. If you have enjoyed the winter scenery and watching our very own Sandvan Explorer, a great guy, confidently walk in the snow give the video a like and give your opinion in the comment section below. They always generate an interesting dialogue. Hopefully the video was informative. It was shot on Hitra Island, a beautiful island near the city of Trondheim, Norway. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness if you wanna play tough. I don't ever slow